The science team has now spent over a decade examining the Artipithecus skeleton, piece by piece. Now it's time to put all the pieces together by harnessing science to art. This process goes back to the time of Leonardo da Vinci, who created lifelike human images based on his own detailed anatomical drawings. Now, using the same technique, one of today's most accomplished natural history artists takes on a creature da Vinci could have never imagined. For illustrator Jay Maternus, the challenge of creating the first lifelike scientific drawings of Artie has become a passion. 10 years into the project, Maternus pays a visit to Owen Lovejoy's lab at Kent State University. To begin reassembling this intriguing creature <laughs> on paper, yeah. they'll use the high precision yeah. plaster casts of the Artipithecus skeleton. We take that piece and it'll line it with that one. Maternus begins his portraits of Artie by creating highly detailed drawings of each of the dozens of individual fossil casts. The fragments of her skull, her crushed pelvis, her grasping toe and hand bones. This staggering body of work amounts to hundreds of pieces of paleo art, each one precisely rendered at full scale. The science team guides Jay on how best to fill in gaps between the recovered bones. Gradually, his drawing of Artie's skeleton begins to take shape. What's the, what's the next step, do you think? The next step would be to, to put a skin on her. Okay. With all the, all the trimmings, hair and, and eyelashes and, and such. Mm -hmm. I taped it together here. Yeah. Maternus would work for over two years adding muscle and skin to Artie's body. Envision what she might have looked like. Far from Ethiopia, far from the back-breaking field work in the middle Awash and the long nights pouring over shattered fossils, Artie's portraits are now completed in a quiet Virginia studio. Drawn in charcoal, this fusion of art and science resurrects this creature from the inside out, from her skeleton to her muscles, and finally to her outer features, her face and her eyes. With her long arms and grasping big toes, Artipithecus finally emerges from the shadows of deep time. Sunday at 9, only on Discovery.